Good afternoon and welcome to my regular daily broadcast. Um, today the topic, sorry, today the episode is 665 and the topic today is the same relationship mistake repeated is a waste. And I'll break that down more clearly in a moment. But before I jump in to that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about. Um, and I explain a couple of things too. So my name is Barry Selby. Hi. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and I help women create balance in love, life, and business. I've actually been a omitting relationship attraction expert because I'm shifting in my, mo in my work, even though, as this topic is about, I'm very much about relationships. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which is why I do these talks in the first place, and also what these titles are called, which started over two years ago, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. So today we're episode number 665. There's a lot out there. And the topic again today is um, the same mistake in relationship repeated is a waste. And I'm gonna break this down pretty cl pretty clearly because I just met a friend of mine this morning and we had, we had a great download dialogue. She's giving us a great inspiration. I've got to, I'll be launching a new um, entry level three month support system for women. Actually, it may be, John, may be gender non-specific, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, it's coming soon. I'm, gonna, I'm brainstorming right now, but I want to talk about this because this came up in the conversation about how when you re when you or somebody you know <laughs> I would say you, not necessarily you but somebody you know is in a relationship and repeats the same mistake again and again and again it isn't very effective and it's a real waste of time and it's actually a waste of energy because you're really not growing and learning one of the ways of looking at relationships one of the ways not the only way one of the ways is in some ways imagine you're climbing a ladder like each relationship is a rung on that ladder, meaning that each relationship should ideally, this is, again, this is one viewpoint, not the only viewpoint, it is kind of mine. Each relationship should ideally be better than the previous one. Now, <laughs> if you never want to have a relationship as good as the last one, maybe you want to go worse, maybe your wiring's a bit off and that may not be covered here. We'll see how it goes. But the thing about it is when you go through a relationship experience, excuse me, when somebody you know, I'm gonna really be careful I don't nail anybody who's watching this because none of you have this problem, I know. But if you do, talk to me privately. Um, but the cycle of relationships that we go through tends to be, well, cyclic for one thing, and also in, a, in, a, in one way of putting it, um, sorry, I'm getting like seven downloads at once, it's hard to juggle them out. Okay, let me, let me break it this, this way. <clears throat> excuse me whilst I get my head back on straight first of all uh, which way oh boy I'm, I'm, I'm seeing f four different ways to go so let me see how I want to play with this if this resonates with you by the way I do appreciate you inter interacting and oh sidebar again this is a Facebook live in case you're wondering if you're watching on YouTube where I was first this is a Facebook live I put on YouTube later on so if you're interacting with me you can do that on Facebook live if you're commenting on Facebook on YouTube I'll respond later on and also in the replays on Facebook. So got that framing right. And I'll explain all that stuff at the back end about how that works. So one of the things I want to talk about is in the conversation about personal growth or human development or transformational work is it's not usually a one hit wonder. In fact, if anything, it's more of what we call a spiral because what happens is when we're going through life and learning lessons, and this is a meta, this is an existential, metaphysical, meta, um, a meta viewpoint. So let's take this. So let's take this as it is, because what I'm speaking to here is how we tend to find ourselves facing lessons sometimes more than once. So it may appear at first um, glimpse that a pattern you're having, or an experience you're having, or a challenge you're having in a relationship might be repeating itself. But when you look more closely and more carefully, if you are in fact growing, the repeated issue you're looking at actually isn't the same issue anymore. It's evolved, it's become a higher level of growth, a higher level of challenge even. No, that's not what I was saying, that's scaring people. <laughs> it's a higher level of awareness. For example, I'm gonna put an example into play. If you're someone who um, has experienced abuse in relationships, like this is one I go to because it's the most overt, overt one, and actually one of the most prevalent ones out there. People get abused in relationships, not always physically, and sometimes not, not only sexually, but sometimes emotionally, mentally, psychically, and different forms of abuse. And that's one of the things. 
is that if you are a person who was, or sorry, if you know somebody, again, not you, but somebody you know, if you know somebody who was, um, in the younger years, abused physical, physical relationships, maybe as they've gone through and they've grown beyond that and they've learned how to heal certain components, they may be circling back and going through relationships where they're getting mentally abused, not physically abused. Maybe you know someone like that. I'm going to give you a shortcut in a moment, but I'm just going to say, so maybe they also evolve another level where the level of abuse becomes psychic level or something more subtle. This is the thing about this journey of growth. It usually isn't one where it's completely erased, except, except I'm going to sidebar this. I'm going to, I'm going to detour this conversation for a second. I'm speaking about this context as if the person you're imagining, because it's not you, is going through relationships one after the other without doing any conscious change in between. They're not seeing a therapist, coach, guide, anybody who can assist them in transforming their programs because that is the way out of the spiral. This is the way out of the cyclic routine because, as I've said many times before, if you're doing the same thing again and again expecting a different result without doing something different to make it happen, you're basically doing what has been defined as insanity. The quote actually that's attributed, again, not true, no, it's sure, but attributed to... Um, um, Albert Einstein is the definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again expecting a different result and if you're going through the same relationship pattern same re sorry if you know somebody <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to you but it's not always about you it could be somebody else because you've been relationships fine I'm sure <laughs> excuse me for playing that way but that's kind of the way I'm going to frame it but the reality is that if um, that person that you know is going through the same relationship patterns with different people, as in different partners, same experience, again and again and again and again, that is that definition of insanity because it's not changing. Now, as I mentioned before, there is a spiral opportunity to grow and go beyond. So they may be evolving their way of being in a relationship, which is one of those um, possibilities, but it's not very prevalent. The other option is before they get into the next relationship, you send your friend to me <laughs> because it's not you, it's somebody you know, to really look at what is in the way, what the wiring is, because the thing about relationships are, it usually involves two people. Ta-da! What a surprise. But the, what I mean by that is there are two personalities, two psychic energies, two um, assorted suitcases full of patterns, programs, and beliefs put together in relationship. There's going to be some friction there. There's going to be some rubbing off in each other. There's going to be some overlapping patterns, beliefs, and ideas that cause friction in the relationship. That suitcase full of stuff can be unpacked outside relationship. Now, most people think that the only way to get through the relationship challenge is to be in another relationship. I don't always think it's a good idea to use your next relationship as your sounding board, as your... Um, therapy session to get through your issues. I strongly suggest, in fact, if you know somebody like this, that you send them to me because they'll be much more effective in their next relationship if they don't carry the same suitcase full of stuff from the old one into the next one. This rewiring, this transformational work, it isn't for the shy or the, um, what's the word looking for? Um, it isn't for the, um, is it? Oh, what's that? It'll come back to me. Anyway. It isn't for the faint of heart. There it is. I knew it was in there somewhere. Doing this work with a coach, counselor, guide like myself is really for the brave. And it's also for the ones who are totally sick and tired and fed up of having the same thing happen again and again in relationships. And I know you know some people, people like that. So I'm asking you for referrals, to be blunt. I am looking to really serve some people who want to change their wiring once and for all so they don't keep repeating the same old crap that they did in the last relationship in the next one. And for once and for all, they want to change the wiring and get it right, not get it right, get it healed. So when they go into the next relationship, they have a whole new way to play that's healthier, more whole, more joyful, and not wasting their time. One of those keys that I do talk about as well in my work is learning how to love yourself. Because one of the challenges, or for them to love themselves, let me be clear about that again. But one of the wiring challenges people have is they keep thinking that love is out there. And so they're always at the mercy of their other part, relationship partner because when the love out there goes away, they feel lost and lost and wounded. I've said this so many times because it is a life skill that a lot of people don't learn is loving themselves. And then 
going into a relationship with all this baggage, this suitcase full of crap, these, the, well, it's not crap, it's just limited beliefs, programs, doubts, all this stuff from the past, they dump onto their partner and they wonder why they don't get any loving. Self-love is one of the keys and one of the tools to one, help you be in a better place to be in a relationship, and two, to actually help you unpack your suitcase safely so you can actually let go of all that stuff or those challenges, or they can let go of that challenges before going to the next relationship. And again, this is not you, it's somebody you know, I'm sure. So two things I wanna do, I'm gonna put a link in the comments for the um, self-love practice that I recommend. It's a, it's a guided meditation that I do. Um, actually, I have recorded, I don't do it every day for you, but I do record it so you can use it every day. So I can definitely invite you to sign up for that. The second thing is I'm gonna invite, if you know somebody who needs help, either put us in touch through social media or send us to my website and click on the contact form. Um, the contact form, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, the, the discovery session form I'm, I'm rewriting, so I don't wanna play with that right now. So just go to the contact form right on my website and fill out the information there. I'll have them do that if they're the one looking for help. I'll put the links in the comments so you can find them very easily. And I will invite you to send this to your friends, share this video with your friends who need this help. Now, if you really do want some help, you can reach out to me too, but I'm really thinking it's not you, it's people you know. So I invite you to share it with them and have them try have them do the work, have them, sorry, have them seek out to get the work done so they can transform their lives once and for all. This, I believe, is one of the most pivotal things that changes the relationship paradigm. So for those people who want to have a relationship that succeeds and thrives way beyond what they did in the past, this is the way that it works best. So again, people you know, send them to me. I'll happily help them and talk to them. I'll give you links in the comments you can share with them. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, by the way. 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page, and that is at facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. You can almost always find me here at that time. You can certainly find the brief replays here as well. If you go to my business page, which is barryselby.org, you can watch the replays of all my broadcasts. All of them are listed there from way back when, when I started. And also, I have them on YouTube. So if you're watching YouTube, you're watching my playlist on uh, my channel, which is Barry Selby, please subscribe. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. Um, on there are all my broadcasts as well. They're easier to sort through because they're just a single line entries of the titles, much faster than going through my Facebook page. However, Facebook is where you can interact more easily with my broadcasts and comment and stuff. Again, I receive comments from both places. And if you want to message me, you can message me through, through YouTube or through Facebook. Um, and I'll give the links in the comments for the self-love practice, which I highly recommend if you're not loving yourself fully yet, or if you know somebody who needs to love themselves, I recommend it highly. And also the uh, contact form so you can reach out to me. With that, I thank you for watching, and I hope this has been of use to you. There's some value in here for some people I know. That was kind of the topic of the conversation I had today. I recommend it highly. I know that this will help you love more, live more fully, and enjoy all your relationships much more easily. And that's why I'm here. So with that, I thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. If you have any questions, comments, please put them below. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Bye.